I'm in another part of Garfield County. A lot of times on any major highway or even some of these little two-lane highways, there'll be signs that'll let you know there's a cemetery one direction or the other. This is one of the exceptions to the rule. There is no sign on the road to let you know this cemetery is here. If you are paying attention and not just in a hurry to get to your destination, you can see a very generic sign for this cemetery. And those of you that have, excuse me, that have paid attention to my other videos, uh, I have actually found quite a few with this same name. I do not know any of the history of this cemetery. I have stopped here once before. A good portion of the headstones are missing. I have no idea who these people are, what community they're from. I'm going to assume there used to be some sort of religious community here. If I do remember correctly of the headstones here, a lot of the ones that I saw were probably children. This one wasn't. That one there obviously was. A lot of cemeteries are called Bethel. stood out last time I was here because there's absolutely no headstones left. That's a child. This one we couldn't really make it out. I, I, it's like they, I don't know, it's weird. And then they've got some carvings here. But, I mean, given the size of the actual, I mean, it looks like a child. And as usual, there's another. So I'm wondering if somebody came out here and did some vandalism. Oh, okay. It's the, uh, I think it's the footstone to this. Stones are missing. I 
looks like the newest one. 72 and 86. All their last names are still on the headstones or the base stones, and that's about it. Looks like someone's pulled the footstones up too because they probably were out there somewhere. I did try to do a preliminary Google search of. Uh, this cemetery for any kind of information and I really didn't find anything. Looks like there used to be, I mean the fence post is still here but the fence itself is gone. I've never been up this way so I kind of wonder if there's remnants of a town or anything. You can see that the pasture land around it is in use. It's probably that individual over there. Once again, I apologize for the wind. As you can see, I'm out here in the open. Too beautiful of a day to stay inside. That looks like it might have been purposely placed. But I just wanted you to see another little cemetery called Bethel Cemetery. It's just a little bitty thing. There's probably, I don't know, what do you figure, 20? 20 graves here, maybe? At least the ones we can see. Covington's going to be straight that way. So we'll go back this way and see what else we can find. Alright, let's go do this.